So this should be one of the videos um, that you watch at the beginning of your study plan to improve your IELTS score because this is all about mindset, all about the preparation that you need to do in order to get a high score. Like anything in life, um, the more practice, the more preparation you do, then the better, the bigger success you're going to get. So in this video, um, you're going to learn a few tips about how to prepare and how to get yourself mentally ready to um, give your best performance in the IELTS test. So like anything, success depends on your attitude. If you have the right attitude, then you are sure to get exactly the re results you want to. And um, just more specifically, here are a few things that I'm going to talk to you about. How to set a goal for your IELTS result. The importance of habit in developing your study skills. And then we're going to give you a few time management secrets that will help you to free up enough time for your studies. Okay, so let's start talking about the goal. Now, obviously, um, I'm sure many people know that when you start a project, you need to know exactly what result you want to get. So before you even start, thinking about preparing for the test, it's a good idea to actually set the goal that you want. And, um, you know, the first thing you need to do is decide what scores you want. Um, IELTS is based on, a sc on the band scores from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 with 0.5s there. So decide. Now, most people will um, either target a band 6.5 or a band 7. And that, of course, is the co most commonest score. It's up to you, but I would probably suggest that you focus on um, one of those two scores. Um, now, a simple thing is to actually write a statement. And here is a little example of a statement you can use. Write it down, pin it up on your, and put it somewhere on your desk or in your bedroom so it is a reminder of your commitment to achieve this goal. And um, you can change the wording here, but this is just something that I can suggest for you. By the and then insert your date, I will take the IELTS test and achieve an overall score of band, and then insert your desired score there, 6.5 or band 7 usually. More specifically, I will achieve a band, again your number, in listening, a band, your number, in reading, a band, then your number in writing, and a band and your number in speaking. I do this by daily working on my IELTS test taking skills. I commit my time and energy to achieving this goal because getting a band 6.5 or a band 7 in IELTS means that I can and then insert your reason or result that you will get from achieving that um, band. Now, of course, this is just um, a, a, fra a phrase, a state, a goal statement. You can use it, you can change it and rewrite it in a way that um, keeps you more motivated. Okay, let's talk about um, habit now. Um, Habit makes things a lot easier. If you if you ever listen to uh, many of the um, training gurus and um, personal development gurus, they talk about the importance of establishing positive habits. So what you need to do, of course, is to make sure that um, your IELTS preparation is part of a habit. So um, ha success comes from the right actions repeated consistently. And that is what a habit is. 
Um, just as exercise, saving money and losing rate, weight all require habit, so does your IELTS training. If you establish a habit for the next seven weeks of daily study, you will build, build your power in English. Now, in general, I would suggest that seven weeks is a reasonable period of study to prepare for your IELTS. Um, you might need more, you might need less. That will generally depend on your level of um, English, your, your foundation ability in English, really. But for this presentation, I will generally be to, uh, talking from a seven-week timetable here. So that's um, getting the habit, the importance of habit. Now, um, a, a useful thing is to think of learning language like playing um, a musical instrument. It takes practice. And if you can make a habit of training for the IELTS day for between 20 to 70 minutes for seven weeks, then you will reach um, a good level of success. Now, what does this mean? It really means that you need to um, assign your schedule and prepare your schedule so that you do spend that daily habitual study for IELTS. And let's just look at a few tips here. First thing to do is to identify your why. And this is another important motivational factor. I mean, let's face it, there are more interesting things to do than study for IELTS. You can play computer games, you can watch DVDs, you can hang out with your friends. So to avoid those kind of temptations, you really need to be clear about why you are taking that IELTS test. So here's a few questions. Obviously, the first one, why are you taking the IELTS test? How will your life be different after you get a high score? And this is, once again, an, a different way of looking at this why question. And then, what will the result allow you to do? So these are kind of questions that will help you to um, really focus on the reason you're doing it. Now, here's a few tips. I talked about um, establishing a habit, and um, here's some practical advice related to getting your habit going. So the first thing, I've already mentioned that 20 minutes a day is really... It's, I wouldn't say it's enough, but 20, only 20 minutes a day will result in progress. And just if you want to know the maths, if we're talking about seven, seven weeks, then if you study 20 minutes a day, seven days a week for seven weeks, then you're going to clock up about 16, um, just over 16 hours of study time. Now, if you think that that basically amounts to 2.3 hours per week, and that's studying 20 minutes. So imagine if you can do two 20-minute study sessions in a day. For example, maybe you can do 20 minutes first thing in the morning, and you can do another 20 minutes of study when you get home from work or when you get home from college. And that's going to immediately double your study period into, over those seven weeks, that would be nearly 33 hours, or nearly five uh, hours for every week. And you can see that just breaking it down into easy, manageable 20-minute sessions um, over a period of time, repeated regularly, you're going to get a lot of practice and a lot of um, English power to improve and, and get the results that you want. So the next thing is um, prepare your environment. The environment where you study does have an important impact on the practice that you do. Because the point here is the 20 minutes should be focused practice. 
not, um, for example, 20 minutes of studying IELTS and looking at Facebook at the same time, maybe with some music playing or the television screen in the background. You need to prepare your environment where you are in a quiet place, where it is silent, where there are no family or friends to interrupt your studies. The next thing is to think about when you study best. Obviously, there are three choices, the morning, the afternoon, or the evening. And um, there are morning people, there are evening people. So make a decision which time is best when you're most active, when you are most attentive, and also the time of day when there are fewer interruptions, when there are not any other things that you need to do or that you need to think about. And of course, that will be the best time. Once again, a commitment of 20 minutes is enough as a start, and if you can, try to do more. So schedule your time to do the IELTS preparation. Um, write it in your notebook and get, make it as a serious appointment with yourself. Another good thing is to set achievements all, each day. As I said earlier, yes, there are, um, it's not always, there are more fun things to do than studying IELTS. So it's nice if you can say, okay, today I will do this. Today I will write one task, one answer. Today, I will um, complete one reading session. Today, I will do some IELTS breakthrough exercises. And if you can just set one specific clear achievement, then you can enjoy the success and that positive feeling of completion. And that's the kind of positive reinforcement that you need in order to keep going with the habit. So here's some examples of achievements, reading one IELTS passage, writing a task one response, or maybe completing two practice exercises for task one. Okay, so there we have um, a few tips and strategies about preparation. Um, and once, I, as I said at the beginning of this video, if you can make your IELTS um, study a habit, then that's the thing that's going to give you the high score and put you ahead of the rest of the com competition. So, good luck. Go ahead and um, look at some of the other videos now that are specifically related to the test.